What's happening, guys? Chris, VA Travels, here in New York City, and I'm gonna do a walkthrough of Times Square. Take a look at some of the historic buildings. And real quick, uh, give you the history. This place blew up in 1904. That's when a major subway line was added here. And also, the New York Times building was built, and that's where it gets its name, Times Square, from the uh, New York Times. So, here we go. Here we are. Dune. And yeah, right in the heart of it, there's the H&M building. Let me get oriented. Okay, so here we are, pretty much right at the crossroads. 42nd Street and Broadway. There we are, Times Square. And I'm gonna take a left and start down here. All right, so right now I'm walking down the Deuce, 42nd Street, infamous road. Back in the 70s and 80s, this was really a seedy, sleazy place, but they uh, really cleaned it up. And as I'm sure you've heard, it's a giant Disney World now. <laughs> and all right, so the first building I'm gonna look at is the Knickerbocker Hotel over here, built by John Jacob Astor in 1906. And it's a Beaux Art style building. There's a lot of that architecture here in New York. And you'll see a, a mansard roof up there, just a red brick facade. Those are limestone coins. And you'll see segmented arches and the pediments above all those windows. Let me zoom in. And the Astors, they were big landowners, developers in the, uh, in the New York area. They were Knickerbockers, and Knickerbockers are New Yorkers with du Dutch ancestry. And I, I'm sure as many of you all know, the Dutch actually first settled this New York area. They bought Manhattan Island from the, uh, from the natives real cheap. And then England took over 1660s. So pretty fine building. I don't know, um, I might have to look up this building over here to the left, but um, let me cut through. Yeah, so I'm cutting through, through here, getting to the heart of it. And yeah, this place will over, overwhelm your senses, especially at nighttime. And I thought about coming out here and doing the tour at night, but I wouldn't be able to see the uh, buildings as well. And there's actually an ordinance that you have to have these uh, lights. They have to be at least at a certain bright brightness. Kind of crazy. The last airbender. Well, there's the New York Police Department. Okay, guys, the heart of it all, one Times Square. And this was the New York Times headquarters that was built in 1904. And they were actually only in the building for about eight years before they moved to another part of town. And you'll see the building's not even currently in use. It makes so much money from being a pretty much a uh, uh, billboard holder that, uh, yeah, it doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be used. But it looks like they're renovating. I see construction workers over there, and uh, I'll walk over to get a better a better shot of it. But yeah, this thing is 25 stories, 363 feet. So, and that's where the ball drops each year. So let me walk across the street. All right, so obviously this is gonna be difficult filming with all the uh, hustle and bustle going on. But yeah, you'll see that's where they drop the ball up there. You'll see the two zero. And that's been going on since 1906 or 1907. And to tell you the idea for the ball drop, I, I learned something new when I was researching. Oh, check this out, Lotus. I'll check those cars out in a moment. Let me get back here where it's kind of safe to... Yeah, that uh, some cities used to have a giant ball that would drop throughout the day, and that's how it kept time, and people in, in town would set their watches to it. <laughs> so that's where the idea of the ball drop for the time came from. So, yep. And there's up to a million people here on New Year's. All right, so let me just take a look at these uh, vehicles. What is that thing? It looks like the Batmobile. Let me walk around. Uh, it was as close as I can get. So, Italian something or other. Oh no, maybe it's British, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to look that up later. 
pretty nice vehicle. Okay, so on to the next building. We've got that H&M building. We've got a little better, uh, better look at it over here. And this thing was actually built in 1999 during that whole revitalization period. And to give you the specs real quick, it's 52 stories, 809 feet high, and it's owned by the Durst Company. And yeah, uh, Durst Company, a real estate uh, company that was started back in 1906 by Jewish immigrant Joseph Durst. And I'll tell you something crazy, his uh, grandson is Robert Durst. Any of you crime documentary fans uh, might have seen the documentary called uh, The Jinx, where he murdered uh, three people, dismembered one guy and got away with it all. Although I heard he uh, he's being retried. He's actually, I think he's in jail now. I haven't really kept up with it, but. Yeah, pretty crazy. And if you're ever on one of the observation decks on, on top of one of the skyscrapers, this is a good uh, way to tell where Times Square is. Just look for the lit up H&M sign when you're looking down over the city. So anyway, yeah, it's that's uh, four Times Square is the address. Over here, we've got the old Paramount building built back in 1927. And this thing is 33 floors. And it's an Art Deco slash another one of those Beaux-Arts buildings. And at the top, you'll see a globe, and it used to, it was originally painted as a real globe. You'll also see a clock up there, and there's a clock on each of the four sides. And this entrance actually is uh, like a uh, reconstruction because they had actually gotten rid of the original entrance uh, after the Great Depression. So, you know, you'll see currently the Hard Rock, so pretty nice building. And then on this corner, we've got three Times Square. The Thompson Ryder Building, built in 2001, 555 feet high. So there you go. What's up, guys? VA travels from the future. <laughs> Just want to show this place off at night. And there it is, one Times Square, the old New York Times Building. And you can kind of see the ball. There's the H&M uh, Building, four Times Square. Three Times Square, and here's the Paramount Building. All right, so let me make my way over here to the ABC Building, owned by Disney. Disney owns a lot in this area, and they're responsible for a lot of the revitalization. Some people are happy about it, some aren't. But uh, that's where Good Morning America is filmed. And I actually saw Gail King, news host, on the subway yesterday. I didn't know who she was. I recognized her face and I saw she had professional makeup on. Um, so I hopped online, looked her up, and yeah, so it was Gail King. Well, I mean, nothing too special to look at, but uh, anyway, so that's the ABC building. Raising Canes, all right, Bubba Gump, Taco Bell. The CBS Viacom building. And this was built in 1964, 38 stories high. Anybody my age will remember MTV, TRL, Total Request Live, Carson Daly. And it was filmed, I believe it would have been the second floor. And uh, I remember uh, when watching, you would always see people walking around Times Square in the background. Oh, and this is also the site of the old Astor Hotel uh, that was built in 1904. And like I say, the Astors were big, uh, developers. Hey, there's uh, Mickey. Uh, landowners in New York, and they also own the Waldorf Astor, which was knocked over. That's where the Empire State Building stands. So, and back there, the Minkoff Theater. That was built in 1973. And I believe the Lion King normally plays there. So, all right, let me keep on, uh, keep on booking here. Gap. <laughs> a little further down and what makes this intersection unique is that when they decided to grid out the city they kept a broadway 
which used to be called Bloomingdale Road, is actually an old Indian trail. And it was a really wide road that kind of snaked through the city. And it formed these squares, and it's weird that they call these kind of triangle squares, but, and technically Times Square is just kind of this square, and the other square is actually Duffy Square. So anyway, uh, so there you go. And let me walk a little further down. This building right here looks like two buildings. They're connected. And this is the Marriott. It's the largest hotel in the city, almost 2,000 rooms. And it was built 1985. Some New York gifts over there. Janet Jackson, I didn't know she was still performing. Some old antique cameras. I see Jackie Chan over here. Ah. say it's all corporate restaurants nowadays but it's better than hookers and drug dealers and all that kind of stuff and it was Rudolph Giuliani in the 90s who really cleaned this place up and it's really not that big here's basically the end of it and it's almost as bright as daytime with all these billboards Okay, so you can see it a little bit better now. It's pretty neat how it's connected right there, eight shape building. And uh, yeah, of course, we're also, we're at Broadway. Uh, theater districts uh, right ahead, there are about 40 theaters in the area now. Back in its prime in the 20s, there were about 80 theaters. Oh yeah, and you'll see another clock on the side there on that Paramount building. Ah, uh, Elmo, Spider-Man, and whatever that is, some albino King Kong. Ah, Batman too. Cross here, I've got eight seconds, six seconds. All these buildings are newer, I don't have much information on them. All right, get across. Some New York hot dogs right there. Sabri. All right, let me get across here. Take a look at this George Cohen statue. And all I can tell you is he was a songwriter. Early 20th century, he wrote a bunch of old timey jingles songs. Give my regards to Broadway. There he is. Yankee, Yankee Doodle Boy, I guess are those his songs? 45 minutes from Broadway. And there's Father Duffy. I'll go look at him in a minute. There he is with his hat and his cane. And Say we're at Father Duffy Square. All right, everybody's trying to get uh, selfies. I can't. Okay, well, it's actually clear right now. But he was a chaplain during World War I. He was actually born in Canada. It'd be great if they had a little plaque kind of just giving some information. I guess you can scan that, uh, scan the code down here to get a little something out of it. But let me walk up these steps and supposedly you have a great view once you get to the top there. Oops, sorry. 
Ah, sorry. Okay, well, there's some information on the back here. Catholic priest. So, yeah. You can uh, pause and read that. All right, let me make my way up here. Holy cow. Oh yeah, we're in this selfie capital of the world. <laughs> More selfies are, are taken here than anywhere. Oh yeah, great view. One Times Square, Paramount Building. Oh, and this is the largest tourist destination in the world. All the yellow New York cabs. Let me just kind of pan around, let you see everything. Hotel is pretty colossal, so. All right, maybe I'll wrap it up with that. A little hectic, I, I did my best uh, considering the circumstances. But uh, anyway, guys, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.